Our age is proud of the progress it has made in men's intellectual development. So you guys will be familiar with my old um, RCA TV and then I had a Samsung flat which sits on that. Um, but as you can tell by the title after six years I have replaced it. So <laughs> I've upgraded my television for the first time in over almost six years. It was December, it was the day after Christmas, or two days after Christmas actually, that my other TV died and I had to get that Samsung. So <laughs> it's had a pretty long run. It does still work. It does have problems, all of which I have presented on video before. Um, but, you know, it was time for some sort of upgrade. And I didn't pay much of anything for this thing, which is the coolest part. So it is a Philips TV. I don't remember the model number. To be honest, this is a pretty generic Philips TV. I, I can't get to it in the middle of this video. It'll be in the video title or in the description or both. Um, but it is a Philips 43 inch flat screen, 16 by 9. Uh, this is a 4K television. Uh, Ultra HD, high dynamic range, 10, I think, or something along those lines. And uh, it's not the most fabulous TV in the world, but it's pretty damn nice for the price, man. For what I paid for it, man, it is pretty damn good. So, overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. But I'm going to have to cut the video here and I will resume it because I need to swap the freaking batteries out. Alright, I am back. Got new batteries. But anyway, as I was saying, Phelps 43. And this is a newer television. This was made within the last two and a half years, as far from what I can find on Google. Um, yeah, it's and got pretty good viewing angles overall. It is large. <laughs> it is way bigger than what I had, was, which was a 28 inch uh, with much larger bezels. This has got pretty small bezels. Now the one thing that I hate about TVs now uh, is that they come with these stupid little legs on the edges, man. Now, I don't know why this exactly is. Because, you know, mine had a stand in the middle, like every freaking flat screen did for a long time. And the thing about that is, you know, it wouldn't be such a huge deal if I could mount it, but I can't mount it. <laughs> Not here. Um, perhaps in the future I could mount it, but not here. Um, but thing is, this is a 38 inch wide, I think it's about 38 inches, so 3 feet wide bookshelf. And if I got any bigger of a TV, I'm not sure what the sizes are exactly for flat screens these days, but if I got anything much larger than this, there's no way in hell it would fit on if it had these little legs at the end, man. With a stand, the only thing that limits me really is the wall. <laughs> Other than that, I could make it as big as I wanted it to be. But for my bookshelf, and without wall mounting, this is as big as I'm going to get, pretty much. So that had to be taken into consideration. And it does fit pretty well on here. Obviously I lose some of the space that I had on here for my Wii. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but yeah, I still have my Wii sensor bar, my 360 games, easy cap capture card, some other stuff, middle piece, um, my 360 media center remote, my Apple remote, and then the TV remote. Uh, this is that modern shit that's got a mic in it, which I'm no fan of. Um, I would just chuck this thing 
or just take the batteries out of it, but there's one feature that I really like on this guy. YouTube. This is nice. I can just click that button. It'll take me from the desktop to YouTube. If I come... Um, if I just do... Ben Lego. And we can look at Ben Lego On YouTube. <laughs> yep. And I can even get... Here I am again. Captions. Auto-generated subtitles. <laughs> Everybody, I don't know what my intro is. I have no, I don't have an intro. Okay. So, <laughs> and then all I have to do is click the input button on the remote, and boom, back to my desktop. So I can just click YouTube again, and it should take me back to where I was. It didn't, but anyway, um, so that doesn't work as perfectly but still that still is really nice I don't give a shit about the Android thing I only care about that YouTube button other than this forget about this remote I don't need it uh, if I if I have to use input or volume I can do it on the TV um, or I could just pair a remote to it as in I could pair this remote to this TV and I could power it on and adjust the volume from this guy. I just don't have the YouTube button. And I like having that YouTube feature. That's pretty freaking cool. So other than that, man, you can forget about all that. I don't care about any of that stuff. And I don't really like having a microphone doing this shit. Because <laughs> I'm a paranoid person, right? Um, but anyway, what I have, what my setup is here. I'm still trying to work out the kinks with this setup, but... What I have is a Mac Mini 2006 Intel Mac Mini uh, plugged in from DVI to HDMI. And I got keyboard and mouse for it down there. Like I said, this isn't the cleanest setup right now, but I'm trying to get this sorted out. Right now, speaker wise, um, I've got Amazon Basics computer speakers. This is a temporary thing just for this video. This is not the long-term solution. I would have honestly just used the Mac Mini's built-in little speaker for doing this vid, but it wasn't loud enough to pick up on the camera properly. Uh, this is just me trying to kind of figure out the sound. Um, I would love to just use the TV speakers because these get pretty loud. For what I use it for, man, it would be just fine for me to use the built-ins, but I don't know if I can do that. Port-wise, uh, you can see Ethernet, SPDIF, headphones, coax, three HDMI ports, which is pretty nice, a USB port, and composite. Now that's the thing that I lost, was component video, and I don't like that, so um, I'm not pleased by that. I don't know if I can find some sort of component to HDMI universal adapter. Because if I tried to play my PS2 on this, it'll probably look like shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, same with my original Xbox. Or, I mean, I got the 360, because uh, my Mac Mini is sitting on top of the 360. This is an, a 360 that predates HDMI, so I only have composite and component video. So it's going to look like crap on this TV. 1080p stuff looks pretty freaking good on this TV, I gotta say. Um, I, you probably can't tell in the video. It's pretty crisp. Uh, especially, well, from here, you can definitely tell, but at a viewing distance, at like my viewing distance, as in sitting this far back, it's plenty crisp enough at 1080p, and that's what I got the computer res at here. Um... And for managing content, man, you can install a lot of other things, but for right now, anyway, I just have front row going on this particular unit. I am, I am going to find a better solution, but remote, 
and I got my Mac kind of covered there to try to cover the IR sensor so it doesn't fuck up while I'm doing this, but... Oh. There we go. So. Simple remote, like I say. I've got some content already loaded on it. I can play music. Let's see here. Pawn Hearts. The box. Here we go, Mud Bank. <laughs> I want to get a copyright strike, so I'll stop it there. But you can play music on it, no problem. Videos, uh, you can play any sort of video stuff. Let me see movies. I got my intro. <laughs> you guys saw the beginning of this video. <laughs> so you got that. Um, and then the thing that I really like about this, and we're going to talk about this a little bit in this video. It's going to be a long video. I might make it a two-parter video. Um, we'll see, though. I might just cram it into one video, to be honest. This has a DVD drive. So what we're going to do is I have George Lopez Season 4. And we're going to pop this in. This one. And, uh... Press the DVD button and boom. It's got to read the DVD. And then it has, um, I don't know what it's going to resume playing from. It's been a long time, but we'll just do that. Resume playing to the menu. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So, turn up the sound. It's a cell phone call. Phone company can't trace it. Do we do it now? So, pretty nice. Hey, come on now. Let's look on the bright side. At least you know she's okay. There's hope. Sometimes hope is all you get. Let me turn off the lights. All the crap these kids can get into in the street. It's pretty good. Brightness-wise, it's excellent. I'm pretty impressed with the brightness on this set. Um, it's not overpowering, as in, obviously you guys are seeing it darker than I am, but the room is not lit up too much, but, um... It's enough to where you could fall asleep to it still if you wanted to, which... I don't mind. Alright, my exploding light bulb saga. But, um, they are going to give me copyright for that, so we'll stop it. But anyway, um, so for DVD playback, it works awesome. Like I say, to play back a DVD on a set like this, you're not going to really appreciate the quality. I mean, DVDs can look pretty good. The newer DVDs, like, released in the last five years, or last ten years, really. Um, let me eject. I think I have to do it from the remote. Let me eject the disc. Boom. Simple as that. And I love that classic. Just so simple. Thing is, though, a lot of the stuff that I have, uh, I don't get into modern shit. Most of the stuff that I have either it has been released on Blu-ray, but it's not. Um, God, but it's not new enough that it 
Like, they're re-releases on Blu-ray, rather. They're not original Blu-ray releases. Also released on DVD. Or I have a lot of stuff that's DVD only, which is the big thing here. I do have a Blu-ray player. You guys know that I have a Blu-ray player. Uh, it's a... Mag I think it's a Magnavox. I'm pretty sure it's the brand. Uh, Blu-ray player. I did a video on that a long time ago. Which I could hook up to that and get some good Blu-ray video going. Um, I do have a PlayStation 3 as well, <laughs> but that thing is pretty annihilated, so, yeah. I don't know if it even reads discs anymore, to be honest, but, yeah, that's... That's the thing. I would go the route of Apple TV. Now, I don't know, guys, about a first-generation Apple TV, because that, I know how... God, I just, I don't remember that device particularly well in terms of what it can do. If I am correct, the use case of that would be to have everything on my iMac, or even on a Mac Mini, like a headless server. But probably just on my iMac, have all my content on there, or on an external hard drive plugged into the iMac, and share it over the network via iTunes to the Apple TV box which plugs right via HDMI into the flat screen and boom it works like that that would be the way that I would expect it to work and that would be the way I want it to work however I don't know if that's still possible it very well it should be possible I know they turned a lot of stuff off for the Apple TV one it's pretty much a dead device but I hope to hell and I'm gonna have to do some research for somebody to clarify this for me I hope to hell that you can still use an Apple TV one that way. I don't expect to get YouTube or anything like that on it. Netflix, whatever. I don't expect to be able to buy movies on it, whatever. I don't care about that. But if I could use it for that, then that would take care of most of what I do with the Mac Mini. However, I lose the DVD functionality. I do obviously have an Xbox 360. Uh, I have a 360 Elite down there, which can read DVDs and it has HDMI. That is currently the overall easiest solution, but I don't like using my 360 for DVDs because it just, I want to keep that thing going because it hasn't red ringed yet and the laser still works. So I don't really want to use it for DVD playback. Uh, my Blu-ray player is probably the most realistic out of my current stuff, but at the same time I have this Mac Mini and I have it plugged up to the TV as you can see and I do have a solution for sound kind of right now but I want to get a better solution for sound if I could just do something that takes the sound from this Mac Mini and puts it on this TV boom simple enough for what I'm trying to do I don't need surround this thing's got acceptable speakers built into it but I don't believe that's possible because as you guys saw it has SPDIF um, I'm not sure if I can get a converter for that uh, it has composite, which I do not believe is possible for this, and it just has HDMI, so... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly about all that, but... <laughs> I don't know sound equipment, guys. I really don't know that kind of stuff. Audio, sound, whatever. That's where I'm a complete noob, so... I got this far, though. <laughs> I know some video stuff, man, but not sound and audio. So... Yeah. That's where I am right now. Of course, I could get a 2010 Mac Mini, which has a DVD drive and has a um, HDMI port right on it. And that's the only one that has both of those features out of the box. And that would be pretty damn good, but it only runs Snow Leopard for that. And I, I think it has FireWire, so restoring it would be okay. But I like having Tiger on it because personally, for the simplicity, this is the version of Front Row that I like. Getting into third party software, then that's a moot point. But at the same time, for how much I spent on this TV, I don't want to have to spend $200 on a 2010 Mac Mini just to get my content on it whenever I have the box right there. So it makes more sense to look into a sound solution for this than to buy a whole new computer just to do it. Um, so I'm going to work on getting this as a home theater setup. Um, I'm pretty close. I just need a sound solution. Other than that, man, 
this is pretty good. I would like to get a wireless keyboard and mouse for that eventually, but that'll be probably a long time from now, just because it's not really essential, because I don't rely on it much other than, uh, like, if I need to transfer content to the computer, then I'll use that, but I don't really need it. So anyway, um, it's going to be fun editing this video, because it is pretty long, but yeah, guys, I got a new <laughs> TV. I never really thought I would have a new TV, especially not one this large, especially when my other one hasn't crapped out yet, and nor has that, but here we are, <laughs> and it is pretty cool, man, I got to say. Um... I like this thing overall. I get pretty nice picture quality on it. Um, there is a small defect right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a dead pixel or whatever there. Other than that, great overall. So, yeah, that's my Philips 43 inch 4K TV. Um, I haven't really done a whole hell of a lot of gaming on it yet, so that's probably next on the agenda, is playing some games for video content, man, this thing's pretty freaking nice, and I may start using my TV more often, because I have this nice set here, to where it's pretty damn immersive, little bedroom, 43 inch, TV, uh, I think this is a pretty good size for this distance and for this purpose. Like I said, I can't go any larger really with my setup. And yeah, so there may come a point where I uh, just pair that 360 remote with it and get rid of that one, or rather just put it away and forget about the YouTube part. That way I don't have a, I don't know if it has a built-in microphone on the TV, if it does, then fuck that, but, um, yeah, I just don't like the idea of having a Google fucking TV with a mic in the remote, I just don't like that idea. Um, but other than that, man, that's my only complaint with this set overall, the little dead pixel, whatever. Um, for the price that I got it at, <laughs> I won't complain about that. I could, eh, it's not worth swapping it out, because you never know what kind of shit you'll end up with, especially with all that's going on. Uh, it's, it's busy as hell, so I don't really want to return it. But anyway, um, whenever I... I'm thinking I might be able to do some stuff with my 360s as well on this thing. I'm gonna do more with this TV, and I'm gonna do a part two to this video probably next year. Next year I'll have a video out on this TV, hopefully. So if I do another video on this TV, it'll be next year. And by then I will have a nice home theater set up with multiple components going to where I get a lot of content on this TV. So, I may or may not do that video. <laughs> um, if I do, then I'll do it. <laughs> but anyway, for now, that's it. That's my new TV, my 43-inch flat-screen TV. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys have purchased a new TV recently, let me know what you got. Um, I'm sure I could have found something better than this, but this was a very good deal. Um, <laughs> so pretty happy with it so far. Hopefully it lasts me like my other one did, so. Yep. Catch you guys later.